but she wants the wedding to either be at Arizona or in Cabo in Mexico. Uh, I believe they want to do it in May. All right, folks, brace yourselves because we've got some exclusive wedding details coming your way. It's all about the one and only Karen Chandler, you know, from Little People Big World. And yes, her beau mat is finally putting a ring on it. So, Karen's son, Connor, recently spilled the beans about his mom's upcoming nuptials. Now hold on to your hats because there's some interesting stuff going on here. Connor revealed that although nothing is set in stone just yet, they've been tossing around ideas for the big day. He spilled the tea, saying, I can confidently say that there's nothing in play yet. There's nothing been ordered, but they're going to do a small wedding. They just don't know how small yet. Yep, you heard that right, folks. Small and intimate is the name of the game, but they're still figuring out if they want a big reception to follow. Connor also mentioned that the guest list is still up in the air, and it's not about hard feelings or disrespect. It's all about how they envision their special day unfolding. So let's see how this drama unfolds in the comments below. What do you think about keeping it small, or should they invite everyone and their cat? Oh, and here's the kicker. The reception will definitely be at the farm once the new house is all set up, but the location for the wedding itself is still a bit of a mystery. They're torn between Arizona and Cabo in Mexico. Now that's what I call a destination wedding dilemma. But wait folks, it wouldn't be a proper celebrity wedding without some drama, right? Brace yourselves for this one. There's some tension in the air because, well, let's just say that Matt's relationship with his son, Zach, isn't exactly a bed of roses. You see, it all started with the sale of Roloff Farms. Matt turned down Zach's offer to buy a piece of the land, and since then, Zach and his wife, Tori, have packed their bags and headed to Washington, keeping their distance. And rumor has it that Tori and sister-in-law, Audrey, aren't exactly besties either. Now, let's talk dates, shall we? Connor mentioned they're eyeing May for the big day, right before summer kicks in. Gotta avoid that scorching heat, right? but no specific date just yet, folks. And here's a little chuckle for you. Connor hopes he has a big role in the wedding, assuming he gets an invite. Well, Connor, we're keeping our fingers crossed for you. Now, let's get to the romantic part. Matt proposed while shopping for a commitment ring for Karen, and it happened in the backyard, their favorite spot. Talk about an intimate proposal, right? So, picture this. Matt gets down on one knee, and the rest is history. And folks, that smile on Karen's face when she came home that day, priceless. Connor shared, she looked at me, she's like, Matt proposed. And I was like, no way. We love a good surprise engagement story. Matt has described Karen as his rock, and we can definitely see the love in the air. They've been together for six wonderful years, and now they're planning a simple but elegant wedding for 2024. It's all about enjoying their engagement for now. All right, folks, that's a wrap on this star-studded wedding update. Should Matt and Karen go all out or keep it small and intimate? And of course, hit that like button and subscribe if you want to stay in the loop on all things entertainment. This is Max signing off. Catch you in the next video.